we're on site with the Brother to Brother Academy in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And with me is Miss Stacy Fletcher. Hello, how are you? Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And we have a victim, no, not a victim, <laughs> a young man that we we're interviewing today. And he's a he's a part of the Brother to Brother program. Uh, welcome, Mr. Marcus Dixon. Are you the second or the third? I'm the second. Okay, Marcus Dixon the second. <laughs> welcome. Uh, Marcus, how long have you been involved with the Brother Brother program? I've been the prior brother now for about five years. About four or five years? Four or five years. Yeah, oh wow. So that's quite a bit of time. And you're still coming. <laughs> okay, it must be something good about it if you're still coming. So, why'd you start in this thing anyway? Uh, at first I came here because my dad told me to come, but I stayed because uh, I like the learning experience again. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Now, you know, Stacy's going to be asking me some questions also. It won't just be me. So she's going to ask you the hard question. I'm taking this with you. <laughs> so, um, so you're 15? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. And where do you go to school? So part of high school. Do you? And do you find that, you know, because you stayed with the program, do you find that it helps with your high school career in school? Because I know that um, Brother to Brother is a lot of educational-based learning. Well, has that helped you in the classrooms? Uh, it has a lot. Yeah, algebra. <laughs> it's one of them hard, hard courses. Um, how about any extracurricular activities or sports you're involved in? I used to play football, but right now I'm currently involved in basketball. Basketball, great. Oh, wow. Now, tell me something. If it's one thing, you being a teenager, if there's one thing that uh, you might be a little bit afraid of. In life, what would that be? Uh, I'm mostly afraid of not doing, like, not becoming successful, and I'm also afraid of um, doing something that can mess up my life. Oh, wow! You know, that's something that I think all of us ought to be a little bit afraid of. You know, making sure that we try to keep our lives straight. Uh, so, now, what are some of the challenges you have with, with trying to do the right thing? Well. Most of the time, the like fun thing or like the more popular thing is not the right thing. Okay. And even though I want, I, I value being, um, I value being successful a lot. I also want to fit in. So. Okay. So social and the right, doing the right thing, sometimes it clash a little bit. Peer pressure from your peers is not very easy to deal with sometimes when you're trying to make the right decision. What do you find are your, your strengths and your weaknesses when you're facing a situation like that? Well, I'm a very, like, I don't mind being um, different. I don't mind being, like, more outside the crowd. So a lot of times I can um, like, stray away from all the things everybody else do and not um, really mind it. But some of my weaknesses are like, I would say, um, I say like, since I'm on a basketball team, I hang out with a lot of personalities, so. Okay. And um, I know them a lot, some of them for like five, six, seven years. So I have a hard time like not doing what they want to do and not been like in the post for like a long time. So you're more of a leader than a follower, which is a great strength to have. But it's always hard to have, you know, your friends and peers, especially kids that you've grown up with, separate, you know, apart from. But does brother to brother help with that? Do you think? And, and instilling those morals and those decision-making skills for you? It does. It's a lot of moral things. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Now, you know, sometimes I, I say to my grandchildren. What I want to do when I grow up, of course, I'm 69 years old right now. What do you want to do? What do you want to become when you grow up? Well, my dream is to become a basketball player for the National Basketball Association. Okay. But if that doesn't work out, I want to be um, in sports medicine, and I want to be one of the little uh, physical trainers that help people when they're hurt or, you know, help them get their stuff done. So you want to make a difference in somebody's life? It's great. It's great. All right. Listen, uh, do you have anything else for Marcus right now? Um, I can't say that I do, but it was really great to meet you, and you're a fantastic young man, and I know you a little bit personally outside of here, but it's been a little while, and I see you. 
really bald and become a really good young man. So good to see you again. You're making a, you're a good example. I'm glad to have you a part of this. Lead by example. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Send somebody else next.